Hi, I'm Lisa and I'm from the Pretty Sweaty Stuff Yoga. So today we'll use two blocks, one underneath the head and one across the shoulder blades. If you don't have any on hand, don't worry. You can grab a couple of cushions or roll up a blanket. How many cushions you'll need depends on how far you want to go in your back bend today and how open you are. The same applies for the height of the blocks. So this might be your first practice of the day. If it is, make sure you take real good care of yourself. So whenever you're ready, we'll get started. I've got a block underneath my head and across my shoulder blades. And then do whatever feels good with the legs. So I'm going to bring the soles of the feet together. I'm just going to close down the eyes and just allow my arms to feel heavy by my sides. If this doesn't feel good, you can always just remove the props completely. And just allow yourself to settle in for a moment or two. Noticing how it feels to simply open the chest. To make the heart vulnerable here. Do you feel at ease at the moment? Or do you feel exposed? Notice any other sensations that's running through the body and through the mind right now. And then notice what's going on around you right now. Notice if there's any external sounds. And then notice if there's any certain thoughts that keeps cropping up for you right now. Can you keep focusing on that natural breath? Can you tell apart from what's real and what's not? Taking deep inhales through the nose. Easy exhales through the nose. And I'm making sure that you can keep this new quality of breath throughout the practice. Deep inhales through the nose. Easy exhales through the nose. If it feels okay and you'd like to, reach the arms above the head. You can always try to interlace the fingers. You can keep the eyes closed. And just really reaching the arms above the head. Maybe keep a softness in the elbows. Keep sending the armpits towards the ceiling. And draw the belly in. Whenever you're ready, remove any props or just come to lie flat on the ground. Hug the knees in as you rock side to side, rounding into the lower back. Keep squeezing the knees in towards the armpits, separate the feet wider than hip width distance apart. You can stay here if you like, grab onto the calf, the ankle, the outside of the feet and send the soles towards the ceiling, happy baby. Maybe rocking side to side, and apply as much pressure as you like to. Whenever you're ready, we'll come all the way up. And then we'll come for a modified plank pose, and so knees slightly behind the hips, shoulder stacks on top of the wrists. And then tuck the toes under, lift your hips up and back, downward dog. So this way you can sort of find the distance between the feet and the hands here. Once you arrive in your downward dog, don't be afraid to move around, see what's going on with the rest of the body. And then finding stillness. Inhale, float your right leg up. Exhale, roll the hip open. Really think about sending the right knee towards the ceiling. And then release the foot. Inhale, float your left leg up. Exhale, roll the hip open. And then release the left foot to the ground. Downward dog. Inhale, float your right leg up. Exhale, roll the hip open. Send the heel towards the glute. Inhale, lift high into your left toes. Exhale, right foot steps forward, lower the left knee to the mat. So check in with your front knee here. 
Make sure it's stacked on top of the ankle and it's going over at least the big toe. Shoulder stacks on top of the hips. We'll float our left arm up, bend into the elbow and then catch it with your right hand. Doing your best to really scoot your left elbow behind the head. So if you find that a little bit awkward, you can always try grabbing a strap and then bring it towards both hands. And that way it will act as an extension of the arms. And if you're feeling open in the shoulders today, you can just interlace the fingers. Really push the head back towards that left elbow and then we'll side bend over towards the right. Finding a nice deep stretch along that left side. Keep that left glute nice and engaged. Stretch a little bit more into the front of that left leg. Slowly release and then grab your blocks, placing one on both sides. If you don't have blocks, you can use a wall, a chair, or even a couple of books. Remember, the blocks have three different heights. And then placing one block onto the outside of that left hip, as you maybe scoot your left knee behind you a little bit more. Sweep your right arm up and over towards the left, find a nice length along that right side. Draw the belly and the ribs in and keep that openness across the chest. If you can keep the openness, maybe you'd like to gradually lower the block down and then remove it eventually. And then we'll come for the other side, sweeping your left arm up and over towards the right. And then coming all the way back up. And then coming for a lizard lunge. So place the hands to the inside of that front foot and then scoot your right foot over towards the edge. If you feel like the floor is a little bit too low down for you, you can prop yourself using a block or a cushion. Check in with your front toes and the front knee. Make sure they're in the same direction. And just breathe here. And then whenever you're ready, slowly coming all the way up, remove any props. And we'll meet back in a downward facing dog, wiggling it out if you need to. Inhale, float your left leg up. Exhale, roll the hip open. Inhale, lift high into your right toes. Exhale, left foot steps forward. Lower the right knee to the mat. Squeeze inner thighs together. Check in with your front knee. And then lift your right arm up. Bend into that elbow. Again, maybe just place your left hand on top of the right elbow. Grab a strap. If you're feeling more open this side, you can just interlace the fingers. Looking for a nice shoulder and tricep stretch. So make sure you don't push yourself too far here. And again, you can always press the elbow back with the head. Keep activating into that right glute as you side bend over towards the left. And then lifting all the way up, grab your blocks. Placing a block onto the outside of your right hip and then maybe scoot your right knee behind you a little bit more. Sweep your right arm up and over towards the left. Draw the belly and the ribs in, and then coming for the other side. Remembering to keep that openness across the chest. Keep breathing. And then lift all the way up, lizard lunge. Hands to the inside of that left foot as you scoot it over towards the edge a little bit more. So it really doesn't matter if your right knee doesn't scoot behind you that much. It really depends on how open you are today. Again, prop yourself up using a cushion, blocks or a bolster. When you're ready, slowly lift all the way up and then grab something soft like a cushion, a pillow or a bolster. Something that you can prop yourself on top of that feels really comfortable and easy going. And you can grab as many cushions as you'd like, depending on how far up in the back bend you want to go. And then I'm going to place my cushion in the space around the heart and the belly, just to prop my chest up. I want to bring my forearms out in front of me, fingertips point forwards. My elbow is going to squeeze the cushions in. And I'm going to keep the glutes slightly activated, keeping the neck nice and long. So coming for more of a restorative version of Sphinx Pose, but keeping the back nice and healthy and activated. Noticing if you're holding any particular tension in the shoulder and in the jaw. Beginning to tilt the head towards the right shoulder, finding a nice sensation along that left side of the neck. Maybe just 
rolling it forwards and backwards. All through centre and then we'll come for the other side, bringing the head towards that left shoulder. Just noticing how maybe this side feels different. And then coming back through centre. We'll just take a few breaths here in Sphinx Pose. Just really enjoying the openness that Sphinx creates for us. Maybe after sitting for so long or working behind a desk for a couple of hours. Whenever you're ready, bring your cushion out in front of you. We'll come for a child's pose. So activate into the arms so much that the forearms and elbows will lift up. Bring your prop a little bit closer and then come to lie on the cushion or whatever you've got. But you want to make sure that the chin rests on the edge of the cushion. Keeping the arms out in front of you. If it feels okay, come for your puppy pose. Sitting bones lifts up towards the ceiling and really sink the chest into your prop. So having the cushion there is particularly good if you're tight in the upper back as well. And this is nice to obviously stretch into the throat area to counterbalance all the looking down that we do. So if this feels okay, you can always just remove the block and just sink the chest into the ground. Think about really reaching the fingertips forwards and lifting the sitting bones up towards the ceiling. Remember to keep breathing here and keep pressing down the, towards the tops of the feet. And then whenever you're ready, we'll come all the way up to lie on our backs. Ground through the lower back once you arrive here and just hold the knees in like they're two heavy bags. And then begin to rock side to side. And then rocking so much that the knees falls towards the left and then maybe turning the head towards the right. If it feels good, you can allow the arms to fall open. Just using this twist to neutralize the spine again. We'll come all the way back up and then coming for the other side. So scooch your hips towards the left as you bring the knees towards the right. Again, feels good, you can turn the head towards the left. And you don't need to do anything here. Just release the effort and find the ease again. And then come back through center. Hug the knees in one last time as you gently rock side to side. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Easy exhale through the mouth and let it go. Whenever you're ready, release the legs out in front of you. Arms by your sides, palm faces up, eyes closed, final pose. And just notice how it feels to just stretch out all the hours from sitting down and working behind the desk. Taking a big inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth, let it go. Thank you so much for allowing me to share my practice with you. All love and gratitude. Namaste.